It was the decision that lit NFL Twitter on fire once again when John Harbaugh decided to go ahead and try a two-point conversion in crunch time instead of just taking the points. I'm Ashley Nicole Moss. He's Robin Lundberg. And Robin, let me tell you why this was the wrong decision. The only guarantee here was tying the game. There was a chance that whether or not the two-point conversion was successful, Aaron Rodgers was going to drive Green Bay into field goal range. They kick the field goal and game is over. But by tying the game, you were guaranteed an opportunity that if that did not happen, you were going into overtime, giving you a 50% chance of getting that ball first and securing a win. This was an unnecessary, risky move that didn't have to be risky. Listen, I'm all for the aggression. I'm all for the ballsiness of the play. But it was an unnecessary risk to take when the only guarantee here was tying the game. Well, under your scenario, though, if Rodgers doesn't score, doesn't get them in field goal range, and you convert the two, you win. You know, I always go for two in these situations because you're talking about two yards to put myself in the best position to win the game. Over time, there are so many different variables. You know, in overtime, you hope for a situation where you're that close to being able to be being put in a position to win. Why not take it when it's right in front of you? That way, if you do keep Aaron Rodgers from kicking the the field goal, you win the game in that moment. And when it goes to overtime, you may never touch the ball. I mean, you just mentioned the coin toss is a 50-50 shot, right? Well, what is a two-point conversion? Pretty close to that. So I think whenever you're that close, to putting your, yourself in a position to have a chance to win and not have to go to uh, overtime, not have to stop Aaron Rodgers again in, in that circumstance, I'm never going to fault a coach for being aggressive there. Listen, your backup quarterback just brought you back from a 14-point deficit. This is not Lamar Jackson. This is not a system that you're accustomed to playing with. This is a different quarterback at the helms. He brought you back from a double-digit deficit. You tie the game, and you give your team an opportunity to fight another day. Again, I'm all for the aggression. And had there been less time on the clock, this would have been the right call because whether or not the two-point conversion was successful – There was not time, or if the two-point conversion was successful, there was not time for Aaron Rodgers to drive down the field and get a field goal and ultimately win the game. There was too much time on the clock. You take the points, you hope your defense can play defense for around 40 seconds, and you give your team a chance to fight another day in overtime. Like I said, an unnecessary risk when the only thing that was guaranteed in this scenario was tying the game. It was easy. Just take the points. But you tie the game and Aaron Rodgers gets a field goal, you lose anyway. You know, in in the the circumstances you're talking about here, Huntley played very well, by the way. But if you're shorthanded, why does extending the game make sense? I don't think extending the game makes sense at that point. You have it right there. You know, like, to me, and this has nothing to do with analytics, has nothing to do with the numbers. It has to do with the, the two yards in front of your face. I'm not sure I agree with the play call. That's where I would criticize a little bit more because he kept going to Andrews. That seemed predictable. I I would have maybe called something else. But the the notion of going for it there, to me, that was their best chance to win the game, to go up right there when they only had to get a couple yards, to have the lead with 40 seconds left to play, not to play for another period and, and allow Aaron Rodgers to have the ball back more than one time, likely. Well, let this be a lesson to the head coach. Aaron Rodgers, no Aaron Rodgers. Sometimes the best thing to do is to trust your team. Simple as that. But you did. They lost, though. Not really.